Okay, you guys, it's... Do you hear that? It's a funny squeaky sound. You couldn't hear a dump truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. I got an idea. When I bought these shoes, they were like 170 bucks. I think they did their job. My shoes are done squeaking and I'm airing out my garage because the black smoke and the black soot in the air was terrible. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you guys is the fact that this thing, the stand, is done. And it came out wonderfully. So now I can throw a bike on here. I don't think I'm going to assign it to one particular bike. Whatever needs a stand, uses a stand. a lot better than trying to manhandle it and backing my truck up and creating ruts in this wet muddy grass doesn't mix this however works perfect I'm sure you guys are putting it together in your heads like hey what's three machines what's Dalton picking up today well, I really want to go pick up the KX. And unfortunately, I have to use my trailer because one, I have a refrigerator in the back, thanks to my dad. And Jake's not at his house, which means I'm going to have to load it by myself. And in order to do that, I think it'd be easier just to use the trailer. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, Dalton, why do you have the ball up here? Shouldn't it be down here? Well, no, on my trailer, the way I built this thing, as you guys know, I built this from complete scratch. I even built the axle. The only thing I didn't build were the tires, the rims, and this hitch. I did, however, make this framing for the hitch. These pins I did build, just took round stock and just bent them, and it works great. The only thing is, is since I put the wheels where I did, the trailer sits up higher than usual, which means to make something load easy on the back, you have to have the front high to have the back low. And that's why I put my ball just like that. Just for anybody who's worried about my ball. I'm putting away the hardware for my homemade hitch and it looks like I bent this. Can you guys see that? Bent. I can't get this nut off. So I guess it's going to have to stay a hitch. I'll put it where I, all my other hitches are. Right down there. Do you guys know why you're supposed to cross your safety chains? I know why, but do you? Leave in the comment section below. My father always told me to do it, but never really told me why. Maybe I never asked, but it's a good idea to do it, so do it. Well, the no drive light isn't on yet. So I've done a little bit of running around, doing a couple errands off camera, just getting business done. And I have been driving a little bit. And I do wanna add, my no driver thing that was up here last night is off, it hasn't been on. If it's not coming on now, it probably won't. I'm hoping it was just a fluke. But you guys gotta see this. We have been dealing with so much wind lately. So much wind. You know, you got the cold and the hot, it mixes, and then we have a lot of wind. I mean, look at this. This is nuts. Can you imagine owning this and then it just gone? Absolutely insane. I'm glad this isn't my shop. 
This is bad. New York State weather wins against Old Barnes. How many people wish that this was their shop right now? Not me. Not me at all. Weather is fascinating. Sometimes you love it and sometimes you hate it. When it's not your piece of property, it is kind of neat. It's finally time. Filled to the brim and fuel for when I was trying to drive it up here and then it seized up on me. No oh, good. It's not good at all. Jake just texted me. He's got the same security system that I do. Yeah, Jake, that's me. to eat on a cold, rainy, sh windy day. Soup! And crackers. Meals for champions for cold, sh windy days. That's for sure, it's very, very windy. good weather here in New York State. I'm sure a lot of you guys are sick of it. I'm personally sick of it. Now don't get me wrong, just because it's crappy and it's rainy and it's cold, I, I had a wonderful day. I'm glad you guys came along with me. Just because the weather's crappy doesn't mean I'm in a crappy mood. A lot of people are like that though, unfortunately. But since tomorrow's supposed to get warmer, I'll prepare for it, get ready for it, so then the time it takes to put away a heater, and... Well, the third piece is outside, but you get it. I put wood over it and cover it. See, I choose to invest this time, the inside time, right now, so then tomorrow when it's nice out, we get out there and get at it, get more done, take advantage of that weather. I would love to tear into this dirt bike right now, the KX250. I can't though, I have to edit and upload today's video. I'm sorry, without that, then you guys won't be able to see what I put up. So that's why we have to stop today. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Don't, don't be afraid to stop by tomorrow. We're always having fun on this channel. Enjoy your day. The question for you guys for today is, do you let the weather depict how you feel? Or is it some other source? Leave in the comment section below. Have a good day. 3D Machines out. Yeah.